Aloha, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is Master Paul. I'm grateful to be connecting with you today. It is the 17th of the month, I believe, and it is the day after a wonderful weekend with Master Francisco, who has been teaching us about the uh, connection with our ancestors here in Honolulu. But for those that are just tuning in, what today's live stream will be about is on the subject of humility. Uh, releasing aspects of the ego. So it should be a very beneficial uh, and valued subject for those that are truly on the spiritual journey, those that really wish to release those parts of their soul journey that are not serving them. It's very important that um, we awaken from the ego and all the different ways that inhibits us in our growth. So that'll be the subject matter today. And I suspect that there will be a few uh, how do I put it? There will be a few uh, hot spots that will hit. <clears throat> so welcome and thank you for everyone that's joining us so far. It was a very powerful weekend with Master Francisco on this weekend retreat. Um, he is Master Shah's, Master Shah's my spiritual father, and Master Francisco is Master Shah's uh, one of his top teachers. He is the lead teacher that trains all the other teachers. Uh, so it's a very high level of responsibility, and it means that he must um, carry a high level of wisdom. To, uh, to assist us in our soul journeys. So it was truly a potent and powerful weekend in which we really connected with the ancestors in the land of Hawaii and released lots of spiritual debts. As you know, Hawaii is about 2,000 miles from anything, so one ripple in the earth and we could be under the water. So it's something where we really need to maintain uh, our, um, our love and gratitude and honoring of the land. So that was a wonderful experience. So thank you, Master Francisco. So thank you to all those that are joining. Welcome to Elizabeth. Aloha Jax, thanks for joining. Aloha Kathleen Monahan, and welcome Jen and Dow. Welcome also to Alicia Jade Kwan. Welcome Anthea. Welcome Kate Nicole. Welcome Alona. Aloha Kristen Rojas. Welcome Karen Hogan and Aloha Annette Blood. Welcome Janice Crosby. Aloha Esther, coming in from the Vancouver zone. Welcome uh, Anthea Murray, welcome Pat, Aloha Shelley, welcome also to Susan Birchmore and Aloha CJ, welcome Julia Abbott, welcome Lisa, welcome also to Linda Jansen and Diana, Aloha everyone, thank you for joining, welcome Ali, and welcome Kristen Strachan. <coughs> I was just watching... Uh, some of the Australia information, Master Maya is, is Master Shah's um, protege to lead the mission of love, peace and harmony moving forward in humanity. And she was visiting in uh, Australia. If you ever get a chance to watch, watch her in anywhere she's traveling, then it is the most important thing you can do, far more important than watching me. Uh, uh, she's just truly amazing. Her heart's so open and she shares such great wisdom. So thank you, Master Maya. So welcome also to Johnny Mambode. Welcome Richie Souder. Welcome Nicola. Uh, welcome also to uh, anybody else whose name I have not mentioned. <clears throat> so how was your weekend? Let me know how things are going. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the ego and lack thereof. We need to learn ways to release it. So greatest humility is one of the great ways to accomplish that. And uh, Da Chen Bei, which is the Mandarin Chinese words for the greatest humility. We're going to practice with some of the wisdom and practices. We're going to define different layers of how the ego shows up, how it inhibits us from uh, moving forward on our soul journey, how it can keep us in pain. A lot of people don't realize that an ego can very much keep us in pain. Aloha, Heather Christina. Welcome. Aloha, Rianne. Aloha and welcome Chantal Antoinette. Thank you all for joining. Welcome Sam Swayenjim. Sway, Sam Swayenjim. Hopefully I didn't destroy your name too bad, Sam. Welcome. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> so, uh, we'll start by doing a blessing. Uh, I will offer a blessing to open your heart and soul so we can move into this wisdom teachings today and receive the greatest value from it. Okay? So wherever you're at, sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair. 
Uh, we have a hand mudra position called the soul light soul service hand position. It's like a prayer. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes and let us connect. Dear beloved divine creator, beloved mother earth, all beings in the heavenly realms, stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, including angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, and saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. We love you, we honor you, we deeply, deeply appreciate you, and we respect your unconditional service to humanity and all souls. We ask most humbly, most sincerely, for your presence here today. To the soul of humility, Da Chenbei, the greatest humility, all the wisdom, guidance, and teachings that you can offer. Could you please come at this time? Be present. Offer your wisdom. Welcome to Bell Soprano. Welcome Vanessa Thompson. Welcome Nina Midway. Welcome Joey Gould. So thank you, beloved beings of light, for coming. So I am about ready to offer a open your heart and soul blessing for all those that are just tuning in. So please prepare to receive. I will chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, but I will also turn on a very specific treasure that I received about uh, about a year ago. Um, I was one of only 29 people that, re well, 30 people were approved. I don't know how many actually got it. My guess, maybe seven or eight actually took advantage of it. As soon as I received the opportunity to be authorized and approved to receive it, I immediately uh, honored the uh, the fee for it because it's an extraordinary treasure. Um, but uh, I'll just leave that to you. So open your heart, release your mind, take a deep breath in, prepare to receive. This is a two minute blessing. Prepare. Hey, uh, hey, oh. hey, uh, hey, oh. hey, uh. Hey ah, hey ah, hey oh, hey ah, 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 la 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 Thank you, healing treasure. Please return. How? Wow, you are all so very blessed. I'm hot. That really was such a powerful blessing. The minute I turned it on, heaven was very present. Many, many blessings came out to each of you. Your uh, each of your fourth chakras, your heart centers, was very, very blessed, releasing uh, quite a bit of blockages. This, this extraordinary power of this blessing. So. I did this on purpose so that um, when we touch on this subject, <clears throat> it's very important that people become present to the um, to the subject of of uh, humility, because ego literally would keep us from coming. There's there's probably at least 100 people who saw this pre-posting on humility and said, "Ah, that's not for me." <laughs> ego, right? So there's that's the nature. Of ego that's the nature of this subject matter wonderful a simple two-minute blessing a lot of people palms got heart they could feel the heat they could feel vibration beautiful 
<coughs> yes, you're all very blessed. Very grateful. Thank you so much. Welcome, Candy. Welcome, Maddie. Welcome, uh, Joey. And welcome, Sonia. Aloha. Welcome, Vanessa. You're very welcome. Happy to serve. So, Dachen Bay is, uh, welcome Chantal, Dachen Bay is the Mandarin Chinese words that means the greatest humility. So, humility is something, it's, it's an English word that is rarely, if ever, used because it's not really seen that often. Stop and think about um, somebody in your life that you know, you know they're, they're in your life on a daily basis that has great humility. They take no credit, but even taking no credit can be aspects of ego because in taking no credit, oh, I look good, right? Oh, I say it's, you know, oh, don't worry about it. You know, no big deal. But in many ways that can be ego. So a true, uh, a true person that has humility can also be confident. You know, a lot of people think that somebody is, is, is outspoken, that they're not humble, that they have big ego. That's not true. That's our understanding based on, on our perceptions. Uh, if somebody speaks with confidence, they could be speaking with confidence because they know unequivocally that it will benefit you. And their purpose is to serve you in your soul journey. I could speak very clearly on, on, for example, that I know that one of the blessings could save your life. I know one of the blessings could stop your pain. That's not ego. I say that with confidence because it's a truth. So to discern ego and to discern humility, it's not always what it appears on the surface. It works both ways. I just gave you the example where someone says, oh no, don't worry about it. But that could be ego even though it appears to be humility, whereas somebody who is outspoken and confident that's not ego, but it could appear to be ego. Interesting, right? So the interesting thing about humility and about ego is that it hides, and it hides in places that you wouldn't expect, and it's not sometimes what you think it might be. Ego is, in essence, everything except uh, alignment to our soul. <clears throat> when we are fully aligned to our soul, we are aligned to the oneness of which we came from, our original creator. We are, our purpose is no longer to, to put ourselves first, uh, to do more for others. I fight with this all the time. Uh, even this weekend, um, I had the financial uh, abilities to receive some downloads, some treasures and transmissions with Master Francisco being in. I have some longer term goals that I'm trying to save that, those financial funds for. Um, and yet, the higher wisdom would be that maybe it makes more sense to, 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 for example, serve my ancestors. That was one of the opportunities given this weekend. So I chose not to. Is that selfishness? Probably. Yeah, it, it probably is. Um, it's also a lack of wisdom. Uh, would it have been wise to go ahead and trust and spend those funds, affect positively my ancestors, and there in return trust that they would positively affect me? That's the higher wisdom. but. Ego, my own, kept me from making that higher choice. So it's interesting the way it plays out because it usually uh, revolves around taking care of self, self selfishness versus selflessness. Typically how um, uh, uh, it plays out in terms of our world. Most of us develop uh, uh, a lack of humility as a protectionistic mm, you know, mechanism. I remember reading a book as a teenager, uh, and it was something like uh, Looking Out for Number One. Yeah, I think, believe that was the name of it, Looking Out for Number One. Very ego-oriented book. Book about take care of yourself. Make sure you, you pay yourself first. Make sure you take care of yourself first. It doesn't really matter about everybody else. If you take care of number one, then you can be there for everybody else. It was a very egocentric book. I read it, and I applied it for a year or two. didn't really work for me, but it, it brought me some lessons. And so we, generally speaking, take on um, a lack of humility as a protectionistic measure, as a survival mechanism, so to speak, uh, which in essence is a separation from Creator. <clears throat> you know, Creator is oneness. Uh, we are all part of that oneness. Uh, one of the students that's watching today sent me a text, 
and it was about you know are we individual souls having an individual experience re you know uh, uh, and part of a ray and then becoming part of uh, of the whole at some point in time or are we already part of the whole and my answer to her uh, which is just my answer it could be wrong it could be right it's just what I received as far as flow and information and what I've learned after all these years in, in service is that it's both uh, it's yin and yang both are attainable at the same time we are on an individual soul journey but we are also part of the oneness and I gave her a little bit further education which I won't go into this time but um, the point is that we are all part of this oneness and we think we're not <laughs> if if we actually truly lived that truth because it is a truth then we wouldn't have any worries we wouldn't have any fears we wouldn't have any depressions we wouldn't have any financial concerns because we would live the truth of knowing that we were being taken care of by the the source um, the all the societies of the future because we are in the soul light era and we are absolutely moving into a very advanced future um, for for you me and, and all of us right now it just feels like something similar to hell and for a good half of us because it's just so difficult part of the reason why it's just so incredibly difficult is because we're stuck in between the the worlds of the the completion of the mind over matter and the uh, moving into soul over matter we're we're coming out of the the area of selfishness and moving into the area of selflessness we're coming out of the darkness and moving into the light there's so many different words that I can use to describe this transition time that we're in but for those of us that are literally in it it feels like hell and part of the reason why is because we have been taught to protect ourselves we've been taught to take care of ourselves we've been taught to not put others first we have been taught that uh, we are individual not one and we're moving towards the opposite truth we are moving towards oneness we are moving towards selfishness we are moving towards service to others means service to self it's a natural side effect of these truths and so in this tumultuous time that we're in uh, everybody's karmic conditions are, are brought to the ultimate uh, levels possible because it is the greatest opportunity for them to transform their karmic conditions when they have the most light there's just massive amounts of light inundating earth at this point the entirety of our universe is moving into a into a new um, area of space which some call dimensional shift some call frequency shift some call fourth dimension you'll hear a thousand different names for that as well um, they're all semi true in some respect in terms of the physics of it where our universe is moving into a higher frequency zone of, of the universe and accordingly it's it's bringing a lot more vibrational frequency a much higher purer frequency a frequency of soul a frequency of oneness a frequency of light a frequency of um, of, uh, of the collectiveness from which we come uh, but in order for, to get from where we are to where we we are going to the the uh, crud has to come up and be dissolved unfortunately that's just the truth sucks as it as it is um, the good news is you're here in front of a student uh, of, of uh, an amazing soul who has come to earth to help humanity his name is master shop and he, he has brought this wisdom so that this transition can be minimized, so to speak, so that your suffering can be minimized. You heard me teach ad, ad infinitum, you know, ad nausea, as they would say, about forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. How often do I not touch on forgiveness, right? It's like I touch on it daily. Why? Because it's how we limit our suffering. It's the best, fastest way to limit the suffering and to, to remove aspects of our, of our suffering. Ego is a huge part of our suffering as well because ego is holding on to that which has served you earlier in life or so you thought because that's what you have been taught by all of those who, who raised you. Aloha Becky, Aloha Crystal, welcome. Welcome Sarah Jessica. Uh, welcome also to uh, any other souls that I haven't mentioned your names. So um, we, we get... You know, we go through our raise, raising up, we go through our childhood, then our teenagehood, you know, we rebel, we, we fight for that freedom, you know, that individualness that we all want. And then we move through our 20s and 30s and we're finding ourselves, we're fleshing things out. 
a good chunk of people in those age ranges are not happy because they don't know what life is for and what they're trying to do. Some are very zeroed in A type personalities. They're just going to get that MBA degree and then everything will be hunky dory. But then they move into their 30s and they're not happy. Some of us, we just stay lost until our 30s and 40s. Uh, then when we get into our 30s and 40s, maybe a good chunk of us are married. So we think kids are going to solve the problem. Well, that just creates a, a buffer zone where we get lost in the sauce with the kids, regurgitating all of our childhood stuff and trying to keep them from not having the same problems we had. Uh, and then we start awakening to our soul journey at some point in that 20 to 40 year range. And you end, your, you end up here. For those that are older, you've... Uh, You've, most of us have already went through the tarot cards and the, and the um, uh, uh, readings and the uh, uh, psychics and, and, and the pendulums and the crystals and, and all these other different ways of which we can capture wisdom and energy and, and insights to the soul world. Let's just keep it simple, okay? The soul journey is to become light and to do everything towards that end. Ego is not serving your soul journey. Ego is not allowing you to move to the light. The light is coming. It doesn't matter if you, if you uh, recognize the suffering as a good thing or not. Suffering doesn't ever feel good, but the purpose of it is to bring up that which needs to be transformed. And any I'm right, no, I'm not going to forgive, I'm going to hold on to my perspective, any of the lack of flexibilities that, in, that tend to... Uh, um, tend to keep us in this place of pain is not going to help okay so it doesn't matter if you die in six months or a hundred years from now if you die um, unhappy wishing you would have changed a few things then this is where it begins ego revolves around negative mindsets negative attitudes negative beliefs ego attachments ego revolves around um, staying in a place of, of not being open to other people's perspectives. We'll probably lose a few people here today because somebody will flip through and say, oh, you know, whatever. Okay, God bless their soul journey. That's where they're at at that point in time. And just as with everything, this is more uh, to add to your repertoire, not to say it's 100% right because that would just be foolish. Um, I never accept anything anybody says is 100% right. I look at it, I say, this is another piece of information that could very well serve my soul journey. Even if, especially if I disagree with it, I could say, ooh, boy, that one really doesn't resonate with me. That one doesn't feel very accurate to me. But it's a piece of information. I'm going to avoid judging it because that's ego. I'm going to put it over here in the corner and maybe at some point in time it will make sense. This is a much wiser way to bring yourself to life. So... I'm going to do a flow now and I'm going to ask the soul of humility, uh, specifically the soul of Da Ganin, the greatest humility, to offer um, its perspective on its uh, pr power, purpose, and significance. So for those that are unfamiliar, my teacher, Master Shah, has, has um, brought into physical form uh, a manifestation of ten qualities uh, called the ten das uh, the greatest forgiveness the greatest love the greatest compassion the greatest light the greatest humility greatest harmony greatest um, gratitude greatest service greatest flourishing and greatest enlightenment beautiful qualities as you can imagine this is how he brings them into manifestation this is a calligraphy card this one is for greatest um, humility and so I'm going to ask the soul of this special calligraphy that carries heaven's frequencies and heaven's wisdom to borrow my mouth and share with to you its perspective on the power significance and importance of humility okay all right Hey, uh, hey. How I am the soul of Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. 
it was just said that I was brought into manifestation through these ten da cards. That is not a truth. In fact, I was born when Creator was born. I have and will always be a part of you and Creator. I am represented in literally every soul in every aspect of life. One of my greatest presenters of my quality is water. It has been said by the great Lao Tzu that the quality of water is the representation of the greatest humility. It serves all unconditionally. It releases the dirt from your body and does not complain. It carries the pollution of society and washes it away without a word. It serves life, feeds and nourishes the baby as well as the elderly with the same equality. It serves and nourishes the prisoner, the death row patient, and more without judgment and criticism. It is, in essence, the deliverer of my humility. I am in you with the same degree of quality. The separation between you and I is because of the ego, because of the belief that you are separate from Creator. This falseness has pervaded many souls for many, many eons. Thus is the nature of the grand plan and the great game of life. It is a game indeed. It is the game in which you must realize you are not alone or separate. And it is in the realigning yourself to the great beings that created you, the great being that created you, heart and soul, that brings you to the place of the greatest humility. This one posted today a bodhisattva bowing down in the image. This was because he wanted to share the nature of humility. How many in the West, in the Christian teachings, bow down to their Creator? They bow down to only that being, but they do not bow down to the teacher, to the master, to the one father. They do not bow down to the mother. They do not bow down to the brothers and sisters, for this would mean that they are higher or they would be better. Greatest humility and bows down to all souls. The greatest humility bows down to the beggar on the street because this soul is no more or less deserved of the Divine's love than any other soul. This is the great light that is coming to humanity at this time. And within several hundred years, these suggestions, these perspectives will be an everyday commonplace way of being where the natural tendency is to place the head on the floor with the deepest gratitude to each of those that you come in contact with for this is the honoring of their soul and the oneness of all ponder this as you move forth in life see where you are not honoring all those around you Recognize the great need to defend yourself versus simply allow others to be who they are without judgment. There is a way in which you can honor self and honor others. This is a lack of humility. This is a This is a reflection of humility.
It has been my honor to offer this wisdom at this time. I am the soul of Da Gan Da Chenbei, the greatest humility. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. Hot, hot, hot. Wow. Okay. So thank you to the soul of Da Chenbei, the greatest humility, for those insights. <coughs> Any comments that you might have on that? <coughs> We're going to do a practice and we're going to bring in um, higher frequencies to help us to transform the, the areas in which ego can show up in our life. <coughs> Aloha Paul, thank you for joining. Welcome Inez. And welcome uh, Linda. Each of these calligraphies are infused with uh, extraordinary frequencies. So I will trace on your behalf while I will walk us through a forgiveness practice. And we will ask for forgiveness for all those that we have not honored, all those that we have judged and criticized. Because what, in essence, that does is it puts us above them. And that would be the farthest away from truth that is possible. Nobody is above anybody else. And certainly nobody is below anybody else. Um, that is the ultimate truth. So we need to ask forgiveness for all lifetimes in which we have placed ourselves above other souls. And when we have placed ourselves below other souls. Because both uh, does not serve us. We need to see each soul with equality and integrity. Okay? <clears throat> All right. So let us do this forgiveness practice together, and then I will lead, uh, lead you in the chanting. We will chant Da Chen Bei, Greatest Humility. And um, then I will trace on our behalves. Okay. Let's place our hands in Soul Light, Soul Service, Hand Position. Welcome, R.D. Let's close our eyes, come fully present. Dear my beloved Creator, please repeat after me if it is comfortable. Dear my beloved Creator, all layers of divine Tao and Source, and my Shurfus, Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels, Saints, I love you all, honor you, respect you. I bow down to you. I ask most humbly and sincerely for forgiveness for my lack of respect and honoring for all of your unconditional service to my soul and its journey. Please forgive me. Dear all souls in all time, I sincerely apologize for all times I have ever offered words, thoughts, and actions that placed me higher than you, that caused you to feel degraded, less than, lower than I. Please forgive me for any thoughts, words, or actions of judgment or criticism. Any thoughts, words, or actions that had the end result of elevating me above you. I deeply and sincerely apologize for these ego responses, thoughts, words, and actions. I am learning more and I will do my best to avoid thoughts, words, and actions of criticism and judgment, placing myself above others. I will do better and better to see each and every soul with equality, each and every soul as equal in God's eyes. Dear all the souls that I have placed higher than me in my mind, better than I, all the souls that I have judged to be, that I will never be able to achieve or be like, Please forgive me for placing you on a pedestal, placing you above me. 
please forgive me for, please forgive my own soul for pushing myself down, making myself feel less than, insufficient. Please forgive me, my beloved soul, for degrading myself. I ask my soul, I ask all the beings of light in the soul world that have come today to please bless me, to uplift my self-worth and value to the point where I do not place myself lower than others and see all souls as equal, not higher, not lower. Please bless me to uh, remove negativity, negative thoughts and judgments and criticisms about others. Please bless me to remove mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, judgments, and criticisms about others. Please give me the words, the thoughts, and the appropriate mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs to maintain positive equality and oneness thinking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of Da Chen Bei Calligraphy, the Master Paul is holding the countless blessings transmitted to this calligraphy. Could you please come to serve me in my soul journey? Bless me to release the blockages that I have with ego. Bless me to empower humility in my life and see the oneness in all souls. In all cases, as appropriate. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will chant to serve you. Keep your eyes closed. <clears throat> and you can chant along with me. Da Chen Bei 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 Da Chen Da Chen Da Chen Greatest humility Greatest humility Greatest humility Greatest humility Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Greatest humility Greatest humility Greatest humility <coughs> Greatest humility Open my heart and soul Release ego Open my heart and soul Release ego Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Da Chen Open my heart and soul Release ego Open my heart and soul, release ego. Open my heart and soul, bring humility. Open my heart and soul, bring humility. Da Chen Bei <coughs> Da Chen Bei <coughs> Da Chen Bei 
Greatest humility, greatest humility. Open my heart and soul, release ego. Ow, excuse me. Open my heart and soul, release ego. As I continue to trace the calligraphy to serve your souls, to release ego, attachments, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, to release selfishness. As I trace the calligraphy to release judgments and criticisms and the ways we have placed ourselves above others, and the way we have lowered ourselves when we did not need to, please offer yourself forgiveness. I forgive myself for lowering my value. I forgive myself for lowering my value. <clears throat> I forgive myself for putting others above me. I forgive myself for placing others above me. Da Chen Bei. I forgive myself for lowering myself. I forgive myself for placing myself below others. I forgive myself for not honoring my intelligence. I forgive myself for not honoring my strengths. I forgive myself for not appreciating my weaknesses. I forgive myself for not loving myself the way my Creator loves me. I forgive myself for not being in a place of equality with all souls. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. <coughs> da Chen Bei, greatest humility. Da Chen Be, greatest humility. Continue to repeat. I forgive myself for placing myself above others, for judging and criticizing others. I forgive myself for thinking I am better, wiser, smarter than others. I forgive myself for thinking that I am alone, that I don't need to depend on anyone else. I forgive myself for separating myself from my Creator. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. 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 Dear the souls of my mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters from all lifetimes, please forgive me for not bowing down to you and seeing you as my equal, but offering you the respect of equality. Dear all souls, please forgive me for not bowing down to you, seeing you as equals with respect of equality. Please forgive me, all souls, for this and all lifetimes that I have not honored you with the respect of equality. Please forgive me, all souls, for not honoring your thoughts, 
your words, your opinions, even though they do not match my own. Please forgive me for not honoring with equality all thoughts, words, and opinions. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. 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 Dear my beloved Creator, all the beings of light, beloved Jesus, Buddha, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, and my Shurfus, Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you all. Please forgive me for not bowing down to you with equality not bowing down to you with gratitude and appreciation for your humility. Please forgive me for not recognizing that you do not have to come and serve me or any souls, that it is your greatest humility, your greatest love, that it is your greatest sacrifice that you take your own time to serve unconditionally with the greatest humility. Please forgive me for not bowing down in gratitude for your teaching, your guidance, wisdom, and blessings. Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei. Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei. To the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the soul of your beloved trees, plants, shrubs, life giving oxygen, to the soul of all of your waters. I love you. Please forgive me, my ego, my lack of humility, my lack of gratitude and honoring for all that you do for me. To the soul of beloved Mother Earth, please forgive me for not bowing down to you, for you provide my oxygen, you provide my water, you provide for my life, and I have not honored you. Please forgive me, my ego, for not bowing down to you. Dear the soul of water, without you I would not be alive. You have taught the greatest wisdom. You have taught the greatest humility. Please forgive my ignorance, my lack of gratitude. I will do better. Da Chen Bei 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 Greatest Humility Da Chen Bei Greatest Humility How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see if you have learned anything. I invite you to bow your heads to the soul of all of the beings of light who offered their service here today. To each of those on the line that are equal to you. I invite you to bow your heads to the souls of this calligraphy and the countless blessings that were offered to you through this calligraphy. I invite you to bow your heads to beloved Mother Earth and all of the water, all of the oxygenation she provides us. I invite you to bow your head to your own soul, to your parents, your brothers and sisters, to all souls of humanity to claim equality and to move away from anything other than that. 
how 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 thank you thank you thank you so please share how was that uh, experience for you did you receive any aha moments did you have any tears did you have any um, physical representation of shift that was occurring did your heart open more uh, what happened for you please share I am just like a sweat box over here and the minute the blessing began I've just been sweating profusely before that I was fine <laughs> so there's that much power was coming through great 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 blessings so welcome Michelle welcome Ari Becky says beautiful so emotional Lisa says tears Michelle's very emotional <coughs> warm hot flashes says Becky yeah great 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 blessings welcome Abby Lynn thank you for joining you have to go back and watch if you came in late uh, Heather says definitely feeling her heart good yesterday we did uh, some very deep forgiveness practices and and it was like a it's like a karma cleansing um, Ali says feeling beautiful and wonderful reminder of humility respect with equality Kathleen says speechless uh, Shelley says lots of tears lots of sweating then a cooling came afterwards yeah very good observations it's important um, to pay attention to the results after a blessing because there are physical there are five elements you know we have our five senses so we need to to have those to validate for us uh, besides just our mind telling us something's going on CJ says wow that was beautiful I can feel so great relief tearful for her thank you so much God bless welcome Angela and Kate says lots of ahas lots clicking into place welcome Mamata uh, Das Gupta <coughs> Das Gupta um, so there is um, a lot of the wisdom is just life wisdom a lot of it was taught through the wisdom of Master Shah probably other masters as well the uh, flow from the soul of Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility, was very inspiring and, and valuable information. It's important to, um, to lower ourselves and at the same time raise ourselves. To lower ourselves so that we don't find ourselves making ourselves feel better or, 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 or higher than other souls uh, at their expense. It doesn't even matter if we say anything. Remember our thoughts same thing they all create karma and at the same time we don't want to place ourselves lower you know the word master in front of my main name just means nothing it what it means what, what I'm taught by my teacher is that it means you need to be even more humble you need to be even more uh, respectful and honoring of other souls um, whereas other people might see it as oh you know he's higher blah 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 you know I don't really give a hoot it's just a label that says I've learned a little bit and I'm here to share but there's different uh, examples of that you know we, we put the, the preacher above us or we put you know certain certain souls out there granted they have greater wisdom it's important to honor that wisdom that's why we bow down to to those souls to honor that wisdom to honor with gratitude it's important to bow down a lot it's one of the fastest ways to uh, to heal actually is to to bow down in places of forgiveness and gratitude uh, because heaven acknowledges it a whole lot faster than uh, um, any other method really <clears throat> and so honor everybody with equality because what in essence we are doing when we honor others with equality <clears throat> we're truly honoring um, our Creator we're, on, we're respecting ourselves when we do that and we are bringing that frequency in a, in a, in a like the like the ripple in the pond effect you keep doing that and the ripple in the pond brings respect back to you honoring back to you and more equality as it keeps going out right it's, it's a pay it forward kind of a thing and so uh, Eloise has never considered forgiveness in this way it really touched her heart wonderful thank you for sharing Eloise uh, Chantel inspiring good to be reminded um, respect is why she uses master thank you uh, Shelley um, Esther says feeling so good and can't say what but peaceful and better breathing oh wonderful and welcome also Shirley Schuster so 
that is uh, the blessings for today and the wisdom for today. I hope it served you well. I invite you to return tomorrow. If you have not hit the share button yet, please let other people know about this. If you came in late, I encourage you to watch the recording, which will happen in about three minutes after I push stop. And if you're new and you enjoyed this, uh, subscribe. You'll, you can always be told when I go live, okay? Always, uh, as always, I'm always available if you need individual guidance or, or counseling uh, and individual blessings, okay? So you can find my information through my website, uh, asoulhealer.com. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All the beings of light, uh, light, love, compassion, all of those servants who served here today, thank you, thank you, thank you. Respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you, Kristen, for posting that information. Bye.